Que pasa YouTube? What's up? How's it going everybody? Honestly, I don't even know when this live is going to be going up. I think it should be either Saturday or Sunday when this live should be going up. But if you guys do enjoy the live, hit that like button down below. Really do appreciate you guys showing your support on the showdown lives. I think it's almost going to be three weeks since I've started doing double uploads with um, daily showdown lives and Wi-Fi battles and you guys have been receiving them very well and I've started knowing like a little pattern of what tiers you guys exactly like to see so yeah I may focus on those tiers that you guys want to see more often and then maybe upload a little bit less of what you guys aren't too interested in but yeah if you guys do enjoy the live hit that like button down below really do appreciate your support once more and this is a pretty fun hyper offense team I just kind of threw together honestly I really wanted to use a double dance right on this is actually a set that I've been wanting to use for a very very long time in NU and I've never really had too many chances to actually use it but I felt that it would fit pretty well on a hyper offensive based team because hazards can wear down its checks and I have some other things to be able to beat what Rhydon doesn't typically like to face. Uh, next off we have Z move Ms. Magius. This is a form of spin blocking also being able to taunt a lot of common uh, defoggers which is really nice and actually speaking of defoggers Houndoom can kind of pseudo check uh, prankster defoggers which is pretty cool and this is kind of like a second double dance mom because the cool thing about Houndoom is that if it's late game and my opponent's team is weakened I can bring this in just flame charge and potentially sweep or I can nasty plot to just kind of break things down a little bit easier and then because of Rhydon and Houndoom uh, Scarf Braviary actually seemed like a really good addition especially because it can kind of pseudo deal with defoggers like if this comes in and gets a defog boost at plus two if my opponent has no steel type this thing is just coming in clicking either return or brave bird and absolutely annihilating everything i decided to go with adamant as opposed to jolly because adamant still outspeeds typically everything that jolly would outspeed if i'm not mistaken like i'll make a double check after I do this quick little intro and then if I change it to Jolly I'll let you guys know but for right now we're gonna say that this will be modest not modest sorry uh, adamant and then finally off we have kind of a, a pseudo check here hold on sorry magic guard yeah <laughs> luckily this didn't come into play in some of the test battles I had with this team but magic guard focus ash sigalift just kind of a, a speed control mod as well I thought about maybe putting defog over one of these moves but all three of these moves honestly have their benefits and I really feel like I need them all so unless I run into too many scenarios then I don't think I'll be putting defog over any of these moves plus thunder wave is just really nice to paralyze things that are scarfed or that could be kind of an issue to the team so yeah that is a quick introduction to the team so let's go ahead and uh, get this started all right so unless this guy has defog and rapid spin I should only be worried about rapid spin on cryogonal so that should be pretty nice uh actually scarf rotom may not even be that big of an issue now that i think about it uh that most likely is z move uh, dodrio though and he's got rocks on toad and then spikes on this um garboder luckily my team really isn't bothered by t spikes at all although i guess it does kind of hinder houndoom and ride on but this shouldn't be too big of an issue so yeah i'm gonna be leading off with my oma star here as he's gonna be leading off with the toad i've thought about maybe changing shell smash to toxic because that definitely does have its benefits for example in this instance i could toxic the uh, seismitoad i remember that before when i tried oma star hyper offense that having t spikes not t spikes sorry having toxic would have been really nice actually t spikes doesn't seem too bad either so he turns out to be life orbs so that's kind of cool actually i've never i don't think i've actually seen too many life orb variants of seismitoad before so just gonna get up a layer of spikes here and i'm actually kind of surprised that he didn't activate my weak armor and my weak armor is it only when it makes physical contact yeah okay i don't know why i thought that it was whenever i get hit by a move uh, either way though he is unfortunately faster than me so he's a very speedy seismitoad variant but we are going to be able to get up our our rocks and our spikes here uh what i want to do here I can probably bring in Ms. Magius. Ms. Magius looks like it can just click its Z move and absolutely blow something back. Totem Siglyph doesn't seem too bad. Actually, now that I look at this team, Toad does kind of look like a problem. So maybe Energy Ball over Heat Wave wouldn't be too bad on my Siglyph here. Although I do kind of want to keep the Sash on my Siglyph intact. So I think I am going to bring in my Ms. Magius here and 
probably just go for my Z move here. I don't realistically think that he would want to risk bringing in a a Dodrio on any move that I want to go for. Hold on. I want to see how much damage I'm going to be doing first of all. Let's see. Shadow Ball does 41 to 48. So a Z move should definitely knock this out. Yeah, it's he's actually right in range. So I'm just going to Z move here. I really don't mind. Blowing back this Seismitoad is absolutely amazing. And now he's got to determine on what to possibly bring in. Maybe the Rotom. Rotom doesn't look like too bad of a switch in here. I almost, if he does bring in Rotom, I almost kind of want to bring in my, my Rhydon. Uh, although maybe Braviary wouldn't be too bad because he could feel like going straight for the Shadow Ball. Although realistically, if he brings in Rotom, I feel like he would either go for the Will-O-Wisp or go for the Bolt Switch most likely. Like him Shadow Balling just invites my Braviary to come in and just kind of click Brave Bird. And even if he does have the the Garboder like weakening, that's going to be absolutely amazing. Plus my Miss Mage still puts in a lot of work against his team. I thought about maybe changing Dazzling Gleam to to Power Gem because in this instance it would really help to weaken the, the Dodrio a little bit more as he ends up bringing in the Embor here. So I'm going to bring in my ride on. He could definitely go for the superpower as he actually head smashes. I, I was not expecting that. I really did not expect the head smash there. Okay. Um, if this is not Scarfed, he probably knocks me out here. I'm going to Stone Edge either way. Yeah, I got to find out if this is Scarfed or not. Oh, please don't miss. Please don't miss. Please. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> yes. Okay, good. Right on. Coming in the clutch there. I thought about Rock Polishing. The only issue, though, if I had gone for Rock Polish and he had tried to switch into his Rotom, expecting me to Earthquake, he still would have been faster than me if he was Scarfed. And then he could have willow with me. And that's not something that I really wanted to risk. I really don't think that was was something that I could risk there in that scenario. I mean, I resist Head Smash though, so I doubt he would have done too much damage to me. And actually, it's kind of good that he missed because with him missing, he doesn't take the initial recoil damage of the Head Smash. And I still don't know if he's Scarfed or not, but I'm guessing he is Scarfed because he hard switched out. So he ends up bringing in the Rotom here. He most likely is going to want to go for the Will-O-Wisp. Or the Shadow Ball is what I'm thinking. So I'm going to make a hard switch directly into my Houndoom here. Uh, Rhydon can still beat a majority of his team. So I don't want that to possibly get burned. As he does Shadow Ball, that does too much damage. Ooh, that does too much damage. I did not think that would do that much damage. You don't stay in here. You don't, you don't risk. You don't risk this, do you? Like, would you really risk this? Hold on. Do I kind of want to run some Split Death Investment? Hold on. Yeah, I didn't. Oh, I thought it would take that a lot better. I really thought I would take that a lot better. So we're going to get off a good amount of damage here. Ooh! Houndoom coming in the clutch with that Dark Pulse damage though. So Embor is now guaranteed in range of where we're going to be able to revenge kill him. Yeah, so it may be worth just sacking off Houndoom here. Because if we switch back in the rocks, we're going to be at 3% and only being able to do one more Life Orb damage hit. So it does turn out that he is Scarf because he was able to outspeed me. Uh, do we knock him out with the U-turn? I kind of think we knock him out with U-turn here, honestly, because he's at minus one. Tell me this does 16%. We're Adam and Braviary too. We're Adam and Braviary. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Okay, well, I mean, yeah, he's locked into this. So, should I Nasty Plot? I kind of want a Nasty Plot, honestly. The only issue with Nasty Plotting, though, is that Rotom just comes in and he revenge kills us. Although, if this is Scarfed Embor, he shouldn't have Scarfed Rotom either, though. And I'm set on that Dodrio being a, a Z-move variant. Hmm. Shadow Ball is a roll, too, but it's not a roll in our favor to live. Would it be in my interest in Nasty Plot here? He should sack this off either way. No, he didn't. Okay. Why would you... Oh, that's, that's a little scary, actually. I think you Brave Bird here every time. You Brave Bird here every time. Oh, I should have been aggressive. No. Yeah, Gleam would have done so much damage. Yeah, Brave Bird knocks us out. Mm, I, I think he's fighting him Z, unfortunately. I really think he's fighting him Z. 
Let's see. Well, actually, right on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm terrible with math. I gotta do the math. I gotta do the math. 94 minus. Is it 6% from rocks? Because we resist it, right? Minus, let's say, max damage here equals 72. Okay, so we can still live a a Brave Bird after rocks into an all up pummeling here. And I really feel like he's got a Brave Bird, honestly. Like, you have to Brave Bird here. Yeah, you always Brave Bird there. Like, there's no reason for you to not Brave Bird in that scenario. So, I can definitely Rock Polish here because there's no way he outspeeds us. And I'm hell bound on the fact that he is definitely a Fightium Z set. I'm like, I'm really convinced about it. I'm really, really convinced about it. So, I'm going to Rock Polish here. Yeah, so he's going to sack off Ember. Okay, this is excellent because now, now we outspeed the Rotom. Now we outspeed the Rotom. We're at plus two speed. The reason why this uh, Rhydon is running this specific EV spread is because it's enough to outspeed uh, Sceptile, which is the second fastest Mon in the tier behind Excelgore. And Excelgore already is a Mon that, I'm, that I do not see too much, honestly. Yeah, and we can outspeed uh, Minior as well. So yeah, that's why I wanted to have just the, the, the extra little bit of bulk here. And it does kind of help out here in this scenario. So if this thing is Scarfed... If this thing is Scarfed, it could Will-O-Wisp us here. But I still just Stone Edge and get a KO. Oh, I just died! Yo, right on, putting in the work game one. Let's go. And if he does bring in the Dodrio, I have a... I have two chances to hit Stone Edge essentially, so if I miss the first time, I still live the Z move and then I can Stone Edge again, so we should be in a pretty good spot here. So right on, putting in work in game one, let's go ahead and uh, get another battle. Alright, so we got the second matchup here, and Malamar actually just terrifies me. Holy crap, if this is- oh, he could lead almost start here for sure. I gotta lead Ms. Magius, yeah, I gotta lead Ms. Magius, I have to taunt, I have to taunt, because I don't want him to get up his own hazards right away. I really don't want him to get up his own hazards right away. So I'm going to taunt here automatically. Yeah, to stop him from potentially getting up the rock. So he does make a good play there. Goes for the Scald. Gets off a good amount of damage on me. And I'm just going to go ahead and Shadow Ball here. Dazzling Gleam realistically isn't bad either. Unfortunately, because he got that burn, he can now just beat me 1v1 possibly. So I'm going to Dazzling Gleam here. Yeah, as we're going to catch the incoming Sneasel. And we do a good amount of damage to that. Uh, he realistically has no reason to not just pursue me here. He literally just clicked Pursuit here. Oh, if that if that was Power Gym, would that have knocked him out? I don't think so. I don't think so. So we can bring a Braviary here and just go for the U-turn. We can just Braviary here and U-turn. As he brings in the Almost Star, he does gain the plus two, unfortunately. Mm, do we do 76% to this? Because I was going to say, I can bring in Sigilyph here and just knock him out. Please? No. Yeah, I may put Energy Ball on my Sigilyph here. I may actually do that. I'm going to get up my rocks here. So we're both going to get up our hazards here. And I kind of want to Shell Smash here, but it's still going to be a speed tie realistically. Yeah, this thing is a problem. Oh, okay. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I need energy ball then. Yeah. Energy ball just... Energy ball would have ensured that this thing wasn't a problem. Energy ball would have ensured that this thing was not a problem at all. Yeah, because I would have knocked them out there. And we would have kept our Focus Sash intact. This is fine though, this is fine though, because uh, I honestly don't think we can win this game. I really don't think we can win this game at this point. So Sneasel goes down, that's good. Uh, Rotom most likely a Scarf, barring the way that he brought it in. Actually, could we win here with Brave Bird? We could possibly win with Brave Bird. How much does he do to my Rhydon? Because I'm set on this being Scarf now, the way that he brought it in. It might be a little better to put the Spadef in here. So, he doesn't 2 KO us. And he could always just Volt Switch here. Expecting my Houndoom. You Volt Switch here. Yes, got him. Okay, good. 
Good. This is good. This is good. I have to double here. I'm going to have to double. So let's see. Vile Plume. How much does Sigalith do? Oh, we don't knock him out. And I don't want to bring in Houndoom because Houndoom just invites him to bring in the Embor. And we're only doing 40% to Embor on the Switch. And an Embor could possibly just get a KO with Superpower. So I'm going to double out here into my Sigalith. Yeah, so this way we're still going to get off a huge amount of damage on this on this Vile Plume. Plus, look at his team. Like, nothing is safely switching in here to a Psychic. And I don't think he's going to risk bringing in the Malamar. Like, I really don't think you br you risk bringing in Malamar. Actually, I want to see how much damage Air Slash is doing. Hold on, hold on. Air Slash. Yeah, it's actually probably better for me to Air Slash here. I'm going to Air Slash. Yeah, this covers him bringing in Malamar. We also still do a lot of damage if he stays in. And why would you risk that? <laughs> what? <laughs> why would you? Oh, what? <laughs> I'm so I'm sorry guys. This that was just I really think that was a bad play. I really think that was just a horrendous play that he just made. And what I mean by that is like, why would you risk bringing in Rotom when I can just click Psychic? When you have a Malamar in the back that can literally just switch in. Like, I'm not even upset that I missed because Air Slash wouldn't have done much damage as it is. But still, there, there's no reason he should have risked bringing in uh, Rotom here. I really do not agree with that. I really do not agree with that play at all. So he tries the Volt Switch again. And now I kind of want to Sword Dance here. But I don't think we're going to knock out Vile Plume, unfortunately. We are Jolly is the thing. Oh, we're not knocking him out at plus two, are we? We could knock him out at plus two. He's at 88%. Oh, nope. My best bet is to Stone Edge crit here. I have to Stone Edge crit. That's the only way we knock this out. If I miss Stone Edge here, that, that is going to kind of suck. I'm not going to lie. Crit. No, it lived. And he knocks us out. I don't agree with that. I still, I still don't agree with that at all. I don't know why you would risk Rotom there. That was just a really bad play, honestly. That was that was a really bad play on his part, I think. Uh, this is where us missing Air Slash might matter. Because Rotom is now faster than everything on our team. Although it was kind of my fault to risk right on there, but I really felt like I was not in a much in a much better scenario. Yeah. If I had crit that Stone Age there, I think we would have just won with Rhydon. I mean, not with Rhydon, but we would have definitely had a better chance to win there. Because we would have either forced him into the Malamar to Superpower, or we would have forced him into the Embor to Superpower. So let's see. Just going to go for the Brave Bird here. This should definitely knock him out. We're Adamant Max Attack. Yeah, this is why I like Adamant Bra uh, Braviary. Because it still typically outspeeds everything that a Scarfer should outspeed in the tier. And if we were Jolly, Jolly does not outspeed much else that Adamant uh, would outspeed, right? Yeah, because Jolly reaches 284. So 284 times 1.5 is only 426. So yeah, Adamant, I think, is definitely a lot better because 426 doesn't outspeed Excelgor either. And then if you look at the tier here, there's really not much that reaches 120 speed except Minior, Sceptile, like, like what else? What else? Unless you want to win an opposing speed tie is the only thing I can think about. I guess Electrode, but I mean, it's an Electrode, so yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure why. Oh, this is where if we had, um, if we had, what's it called? Sucker Punch. We could actually win here with Sucker Punch. So yeah, he's got no reason to not Volt Switch here. Maybe Z-Move Houndoom would be pretty cool in this scenario. Yeah, unfortunately, we are going to take an L here. Unless I potentially crit him with this Fire Blast, or it may be in my best interest to just flinch him with the Dark Pulse, actually. Let's see. Because if we can flinch him here and knock him out, I think we can actually win. Oh, no, no. It's better for me to Fire Blast because flinch doesn't... Well, no, if flinch... Yeah, if we flinch him here, we put him in range of where we knock him out. So I'm going to I'm gonna Dark Pulse here, try to get the flinch. Maybe... No. Okay, so yeah. Unfortunately, we took an L there. We definitely could have won that. We definitely could have won that, I think. But let's go ahead and uh, get another battle. 
All right, so this dude has Zatu, and this is where us actually being Shell Smash Omastar could really help us out. So he does end up looting off with the Zatu, and uh, oh, do I Shell Smash right away? Because he could definitely just go for U-turn, is what I'm thinking. Depending on his speed here, I'm gonna Shell Smash actually. So just gonna go straight for the Scald. He could expect us to uh, potentially Ice Beam here, so I don't know if he would want to risk bringing in directly the Toad. Oh, I do want to get up rocks here. I'm gonna go for rocks. I'm gonna be aggressive and get up rocks. All right, so we at least get up our rocks. That's fine. That's fine. And now we do have energy ball on our our Sigalif here. So this is nice. Yeah, this is a change I made before this matchup here. Or I think it was in the second game. I'm not sure, but yeah, we do have energy ball now. And down goes the toad. So that's really good. That means his stealth rocker is now gone, and we have our stealth rocks up. As in comes this hound doom. Oh, if this has pursuit. That could be a little bad. Oh, okay, he doesn't have Pursuit. Okay, good, 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 good. Flame Charge. Okay, well, I mean, like, what do you do to me, honestly? Like, do I just Stone... I think I just Stone Edge here. I think 9 out of 9, or 10 times out of 10 times, I just Stone Edge here. Because realistically, we're a Rhydon. We live anything this thing wants to go for. And his best switch in is most likely the Satu. Don't flinch me. Please don't flinch me. <sighs> oh. Really? Really? That flinch is actually huge. Why would you nasty? What? I'm... I'm so confused. I like how this man hits... It's Icicle Crash after flinching me, so... I got a U-turn here. U-turn is definitely going to knock out this Sneasel at this range of HP. So down it goes. Okay, so we're in a pretty good spot here. Yeah, <laughs> this man just left. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's get another battle. All right, guys. So we got the next matchup here, and this dude has webs, and that is actually terrifying. Oh, webs are going to be a humongous problem. Uh, I'm going to lead off with Ms. Magius here. As he actually ends up leading off with his Rotom. Actually, oh, no, because he's going to Volt Switch right into, into Incineroar. I'm going to make an aggressive play here. I'm going to expect him to Volt Switch. Yeah, okay, so I think this is Scarf. This is Assault Vest Incineroar. This is Web Shuckle. Uh, Agility Vickable, potentially, is what, I'm, is what I'm thinking. So what would he want to bring in here? Nothing really safely switches into into a stone edge. So I'm gonna double out. Oh, he stayed in. No shit. Oh, he's not choiced. That's really bad. The fact that he's not choiced is actually really bad. Okay. Okay. Hmm. I think I got a nasty plot here. No, because he just gets a free switch into his Incineroar. I'm going to double out again. Okay, so we at least get up Stealth Rocks here. So that's good. No! Okay. I thought we could have got up Rocks there. But not. Not at all. Not. Not at all. I'm going to try and Stone Edge here. Oh, this is just a really bad matchup, honestly. Like, look at his team! Like, you can't tell me this team doesn't look like it would run Scarfed Rotom, though. And, uh, I should have considered Fake Out, like, the, uh, the Assault Vest Incineroar's I run don't have Fake Out, but... Usually Incineroar does run Fake Out. This is just the freest Leaf Storm of his life. Oh, he got me. He got me there. Yeah, that was a good play on his part. That was a good play on his part. Because he knew I shouldn't have stayed in there. He knew I shouldn't have stayed in. Hmm. This is a little bad. I think he's definitely going to try an Encore here. 
Actually, what I kind of want to do is rock polish. Or SD's not bad either. Like, you should definitely want to get up webs here is what I'm thinking. So I'm going to rock polish first. As he actually toxics. And then I can stone edge here. Could we still win, actually? Hold on. I'm going to SD here. I'm not sure why he's not getting up webs. Like, his last move is definitely webs. So I can Earthquake here. Down that goes. Okay. Is this still winnable? Why didn't he get up webs, though? Oh, please. Please don't. Please don't miss. Please don't miss. Like, we have to hit this. We have to hit this Stone Edge. I believe in you, right on. I believe in you, my dog. Let's hit this Stone Edge. This is a plus two. This is plus two stabbed. We're not missing boys. We're not missing boys. Down it goes. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, good, 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 good. This Rotom is still kind of a problem though. Actually, no. Yeah, we're, we're in a really good spot here, actually. Hold on, hold on. We're in a really good spot here. Yeah, okay. So the beginning of this match was a little bit iffy. So in comes the... Okay, I just clicked Stone Edge again. We're not missing. We're not missing. This is, this is, this is it, boys. Yes! Yo! My boy Rhydon coming through! Rhydon putting the team on his back. You feel me? You feel me, don't you guys? Don't you, don't you, don't you? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, what do we bring in here? What do we bring in here? Uh, kind of want to bring in Houndoom because Houndoom can dark pulse his Vaporeon and just chip it down. Yeah, I think we act- Oh, can we live a Scald? No, no, no. I don't think we live a Scald. I don't think we live a Scald. I don't think we live a Scald here. Let's see. Just to be on the safe side. Just to be on the safe side. Yeah, okay. We don't live a Scald, but we get off some decent damage with the dark pulse. Definitely just gonna spam it. We can also flinch here. Maybe... Z move. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is bad. This is actually kind of bad. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. I never once considered Z-move. I never once considered Z-move. Hold on, hold on. I don't, I don't think we lose yet. I don't think we lose just yet. What do we do here? What do we do here? I've not seen a lot of a lot of Vaporeon like this. Okay, so we have to Thunder Wave this for sure. We have to Thunder Wave this. If we miss Thunder Wave here, we lose. If we miss Thunder Wave, we lose. Or if we get frozen, we lose. And we don't miss. Okay, we don't miss. We don't miss. That's good. That's good. That's good. Now we get off good damage with Energy Ball. He gets fully paralyzed. Nope. 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 <laughs> oh. It comes down to Ms. Magius, guys. It literally comes down to Ms. Magius. Oh, no. I have to pop the Z move. I have to pop the Z move. Yeah, I think we lose. Oh, I think we lose here. I think we lose here. I think we may lose here to just this Vickable. Because, oh, if we had, if we had the power gem, guys, if we had the power gem. No. Yeah, if he specs, we lose. Oh, if he specs, we lose. I think I have to nasty plot either way. So let's go ahead and uh, get another match. All right, guys. So this most likely is going to be the last match here. And it looks like we have a decent matchup, honestly. I really feel like he's going to lead off with the Ambi Palm here. So I kind of want to lead with my right on. I'm going to lead right on, actually. Because there's also a chance that he'll lead with his Zatu, as he does end up leading off with a Rhydon. I mean, not the Rhydon, sorry. <laughs> the Ambipom here, so let's see. I can just Earthquake, I think, honestly. I mean, Stone Edge isn't bad either. I'm just going to Stone Edge. Don't miss. Alright, so that does good damage. And if he sacks this off, that's fine. I'm going to Earthquake here. Like, I don't think you bring in Zatu here at all. Yeah, like, you, Verizion's a pretty solid. 
solid switch in in this scenario. So I'm going to bring in my Braviary. I know this seems like a very aggressive switch in here, but he most likely is going to SD or even if he goes for the close combat, he's at 66% at minus one. Let's see. America does not knock him out with the U-turn. Do I want a superpower here? Superpower doesn't seem that bad, honestly. I'm going to U-turn, actually. I'm going to U-turn here. I don't think he should want to risk this Verizion. And he just... Am I dumb or something? Like, I don't... You have a Steelix in the back, my guy. Yeah, you, have a, you have a perfectly... You have a giant rock monster. A steel. Actually, no, you have a giant steel monster in the back, but you risk Verizion. Like Verizion actually would have been able would have been able to put in a lot of work, honestly. So Aromatis, if this trick rooms, that could be a little bit annoying, but I'm gonna try and just get up my hazards here. So he's actually gonna go for Scald. I mean not Scald, but Moonblast. And then I can Scald this turn. I mean, honestly, I think he's gonna wanna stay in though and just finish me off. So the question is, do I want to get up a layer of spikes? Like, spikes is really nice here. Uh, getting off damage on this wouldn't be bad either, though, at the same time. I'm going to Scald. Yeah, I just want to get off some damage on this. I just want to get off some damage on this. So... Rhydon does not quite knock this out. What did he take? He took 32%, so he's probably physically defensive. Is, is what I'm thinking. Let's take a look at Omastar real quick. Shouts out if you get the nickname of my of my uh, Omastar here. So we got an absolute min damage roll with Scald. It's always nice. Hmm. Hound Doom, Scooby Doom. Oh, that does decent damage. Yeah, like. M uh, Hound Doom's not really breaking too much in this match. I'm just gonna Fire Blast here. I don't think I need to go for Flame Charge. Eh. <laughs> we would have just 2 a KO'd him too. Yeah. Can I get a crit maybe? Okay, I mean, I guess a burn is nice. Like, that's that's fine, I guess. Ah, oh, dude, that miss actually really sucks. And U-turn doesn't knock him out either. I think I Sigalith here and just Psychic. Yeah. So that miss actually really sucks because we would have been able to just knock out this Aromatis. And we might have been able to beat him before he beat us. Because we would have hit him with the first fire blast. He would have done about 40%. And then if we have hit if we had hit that second fire blast, we would have knocked him out. So yeah, that does kind of suck. I'm not gonna lie. That miss does kind of suck. Uh, I'm gonna try and rock polish here, maybe. Yeah, because we can live this. And we outspeed this because we're at plus two, so I'm gonna earthquake here. Oh, actually, no. What I probably should have... Well, no, because he most likely had the low kick. Because I was going to say, I could have gone for a double rock polish there. And then that way, we also outspeed the Embor, guaranteed. I mean, I think Embor has to come in either way and go for the superpower. As he actually brings in the Steelix, so we can get off a huge hit here with this Earthquake. We're still max attack. Yeah, that's pretty solid damage. Oh, I was kind of hoping we would live that. I was actually kind of hoping we would live that. I'm not going to lie. I'm not gonna lie, I was hoping we would live that. Let's see, this match is gonna be really close. This match is gonna be really, really close here. So let's see exactly what said he was running. We did about 52% and that was another really low damage roll. Uh, Miss Magius can probably just pop its Z move here is what I'm thinking. Yeah, we're gonna knock this out here with our Z move. Uh, there's not much reason for me to bring in Braviary and go for superpower, I think. So I'm gonna never ending nightmare here. And I think I just claim a KO. I don't think Embor is safely switching into this either. Hold on. Let's see. No, no. So yeah, I just get a KO here with never ending nightmare. So down goes that. In comes the Embor. This thing is definitely gonna go straight for the flare blitz. 
that too oh okay okay we're in a we're in a bit of a tough spot here what do i sack off Oh, I can't sack off. I need this Miss Magius. Miss Magius just beats his Zatu 1v1. Yeah, I think I have to sack off my Braviary. So what I'm thinking is that I sack off Braviary, bring in Sigilyph, and click Psychic, and we should be able to 2 KO the Zatu. That's what I'm thinking right now. Let's see. Totem Burb. Let's, let's bust this out. So he's going to be... So 100 minus what? 25%. Minus the forty-two percent. I mean, not the forty-two percent, but the, but the possible like we'll go twenty-seven percent minus. Oh, it's gonna be a damage roll. It's gonna be a roll. Well, actually, no, because I can just air slash either way with with um, with sick with sickleif though. So yeah, I think I have to sack off my braviary here. I have to sack off braviary here. Yeah, so now we bring this in, and Air Slash should knock out this Embor. Yeah, Air Slash is definitely my play. Air Slash is definitely my play. Don't miss. Please don't miss. Okay, good. We don't miss. We win. We win. We win. We win. We win. We win. I'm pretty sure we win. Air Slash is also a 2 at KO on this, and we can potentially flinch him here. Can, we, can I get some kind of hacks? Just some luck. Nope. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So yeah, pretty, pretty solid last battle here. I really feel like we could have won... The two games that we lost, honestly. Uh, all in all, I still think this was a pretty solid live. Yeah, I, I think this was still a pretty solid live. It's just that second, that second loss, man. I really feel like we could have won there. If he, if he maybe got a low damage roll with that thunderbolt, we could have, we could have lived and then knocked him out, possibly. Uh, but yeah, that is going to be the live, guys. Hopefully, y'all did enjoy it. And if you did, make sure to hit that like button down below. And with that being said, I will see you all later today with a Wi-Fi battle, most likely. So thank you all for watching. Uh, later, everybody. No matter where you're at, I'm not here to make friends. It's time to attack and deplete your HP with a final smash. Don't make me turn around and pull a six-foot hacks. <laughs> six foot, six foot hacks. Six foot, six foot hats, hats, six foot, six foot hats, hats.